Hi everyone, it's Melina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video I would like to share with you my recipe of carrot cream soup. It is quite easy to prepare, so you will need obviously carrots, you will need one large potato and onion of uh, I would say medium size. So you will need two carrots I would say, but if you don't know how much it is, you will have to basically chop them. Of course to peel them first, you will need to peel all those vegetables and to chop them actually in like small cubes or something like that. So if you don't know how much of carrots of which size to pick, I would say that you will need two cups of uh, carrots, like sliced basically, you know, like little you know amounts and uh, you will need as I said to slice all those vegetables and you will need to add a little bit of celery so I actually use the root of it because I didn't have the like fresh one the green part of it and you will need probably like maybe I'm not sure maybe like less than one teaspoon slightly less because I chopped the root slightly in like, you know, little tiny amounts and actually you will need to prepare the pan. By the way, it's better to use a Dutch oven, I think you call it, or Dutch pan, I'm not certain, because it won't be like burned. Because quite often I actually cook this soup in pan, I do it all the time actually. And the thing is sometimes it gets to the point when it's like close to be burned, so it's not right like to cook in the usual pan but I still do since the Dutch oven or Dutch uh, pan I have it is too large in my opinion so yeah I still try just not to burn it too much well so you will need the pan or Dutch oven and you will need to put like fourth part of cup of butter there so really like big amount I would say of butter and then you put it on the heat, the medium one, and you start to add firstly sliced uh, carrot, then actually your potato and um, onion. You mix it sort of, so it's all you know there. Also, you will add a little bit of that celery, as I mentioned. I'm not sure, maybe less than a little teaspoon of it. And also you will add a little bit of ginger, so usually I don't have the powder of it and I just uh, slice the dry or fresh ginger slightly and it will be maybe a little bit less also or around teaspoon of ginger. You put it all there and you mix it and you just stew it basically, I would call it like that for 30 minutes. But it is usually 30 minutes when you cook it in the Dutch oven or... Um, Dutch pan, I'm not certain again how to call it, but if you cook in usual pan it would be less, but honestly it can slightly get to the, you know, like this point where it's almost like burnt, so be careful. If you cook it in a regular pan, I wouldn't actually recommend it, but if you do you will have to look after it for like all the time basically. And you can actually prepare the, you know, the things that you're gonna mix or blend that soup you know in or that big part of the soup because I usually use blender simply I don't have anything else so yeah I use it in the I do it in the blender so you will cook the carrots potato onion and uh, ginger celery for 30 minutes maybe less again and you prepare the blender also you can prepare the cream you're gonna use or heavy cream but not too fat guys be careful I usually use uh, sour cream so I don't use the regular cream and you will need half of the cup of uh, sour cream or the heavy cream I'm not sure how you call it too and also you will need eight part of teaspoon of uh, black pepper you will need half of a teaspoon of uh, salt too so you will need to add it later on in you know later yeah in the soup and also you will need actually half of a teaspoon of um, curry powder yeah 
By the way, this soup, it is possible to cook with a broth, so if you cook it with broth, you will need to add it uh, a little bit of it in that, uh, you know, pan that you cook your vegetables in. But I make it super like healthy and I would say broth free, so yeah, I do it this way. Anyways, uh, after 30 minutes or maybe 20 in that pan, you take those uh, vegetables out. You can call them or cool them, actually call them <laughs> for maybe 20 minutes around that. Actually, maybe 10 even. And you start to put it in the blender or whatever you have, maybe something else, something more fancier. And you blend it until it's all nice and like smooth, like liquidish almost. Well, that texture, you will recognize it, I suppose, so I don't need to teach you that. And by the way, also, I guess I didn't mention that you need to wash your hands. I think you know that and don't forget to do that, guys. So you blend that, uh, you know, vegetables, all those things in there. Not all those things, it's like those things you get from the pan. So basically, what did I say? Carrots, potato, onion, celery and ginger a little bit, yes? So you put it there, you mix it and then you put it back into the pan. Then you add your sour cream or cream. So it would be again half of the cup, as I said, in that, you know, pan. Then you add just a little bit of black pepper. It would be eight part of teaspoon, also half of teaspoon of salt. And what did I say? A little bit of curry powder, maybe half of the teaspoon. You mix it all, you put it in on little, very tiny heat and you start to add actually water. You can add water as much as you want because it depends on you how you want your soup to be, what kind of texture. I would add maybe a few actually cups to make it, you know, nice but not too thin, not too liquidish. So you mix it, you cook it, but uh, don't, you know, cook it for like ages. So you'll see how it's gonna be and judge for yourself. You can then turn the heat off and actually you can start to serve it, I suppose. And by the way, my recommendation is to serve it like to garnish it, I would say, with a little bit of um, cheese. The best would be the blue cheese, but you can use something else, some other cheese. And you can just, I'm not sure how to call it, the little, you know, amounts of cheese on the top of that. Uh, soup and also you can maybe make some toasts or even maybe I'm not sure some fancy toasts so I would usually just make some toasts in a toaster and serve it with that soup on top with that you know cheese I just love it I think it is very healthy and you know just amazing you know I cook it without broth and to be fair I thought that it's not gonna turn out to be nice but I love it by the way be careful not to add too much like sour cream maybe you will need less than the amount I mentioned because um, when it's too like much of it it's um, you can't really taste the uh, vegetables and to be fair I don't like when there is too much cream but yeah, well, it is cream soup after all. So bon appetit, enjoy your soup. I hope that this recipe is helpful. Let me know how did it go. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Wow.